Federal superintendents speaking on the events highlighted the giant strides and different achievements of the church in the last hundred years. And we are here today to rejoice with our people for celebration of centenary. That is hundred years that Christ Apostolic Church has been uh, uh, planted nearly every nook and corner of northern Nigeria. We are able and abundantly able to go straight beyond these hundred years till Christ will appear on the sky. Other principal officers shared same sentiments. Well, uh, our expectation in the year, uh, year ahead, because we believe in God, He will do more and, uh, than before. And uh, more, most especially that He is uh, on His way coming back. And uh, so we believe in the last day revival that there will be another revival again, more than the one in the past. So we are celebrating 100 years in the presence of God. So Christ Apostolic Church came to this part of the country about 100 years uh, ago. We want to thank God that uh, the government have done its best in trying to secure our churches up north here. And we call on the government to ensure that this continue. But I think every government, from federal to state and state to local, all the three states of government, they are trying their best. But mind you me, they are not uh, God. So members of the church shared their spiritual growth and impact from the church. Uh, in the year 1921, at number 43, Wally Road in Sabongiri, five people converged there to start what we are seeing today. And that time they started like uh, as a precious stone, who later metamorphosed to Christ Apostolic Church. As you can see, I am not up to 100 years. But uh, the Lord has been faithful as far as the church is concerned. Rapid progress, most especially among the youth. It's a grace to be a living witness of the centenary. Centenary comes once in a lifetime. The Oba of Yoruba community in Kanu urge the church and other Christians to continue to pray for the nation, especially in this period of insecurity. No matter what in life, being a Christian, being a Muslim, what we need mostly in this our country is prayer. With prayer, all things are done. I rejoice with the leadership to have a united.